What's going on everybody? Brad Cohen, Harmon Realty. As we are getting into the traditional spring market of real estate in the area, I want to talk about balancing your wants and needs as a buyer because as everyone knows, inventory levels are still low. National statistics are showing that inventory levels are rising, albeit slowly. We're still not really seeing that around our market. I'm optimistic and I hope that we'll still have the slew of inventory that we traditionally do, but as a buyer, your options are still limited right now. That's going to require you to balance your wants and needs. The first step is to get pre-approved for a mortgage so you know exactly how much you can afford and you can curb your expectations and control your wants and needs based on how much you can afford. After you've got an idea on your budget, think about your must-haves your nice to haves, and your deal breakers. I always tell people think about the 80-10-10 rule. 80% of the house you like, 10% of the house you can change to meet your preferences, and the other 10% that may not be your favorite, you can live with comfortably. When you're thinking about your must haves, those are the things that absolutely have to be in the house. For example, if you absolutely have to have three bedrooms, then you absolutely have to have three bedrooms. Maybe you absolutely have to have two full bathrooms. Those are the things you're not willing to compromise on and those deal breaker type things. Or it could be location. I absolutely have to be in this neighborhood, this school district, this locality, stuff like that. Now your nice to haves are the things that you're willing to compromise on. For example, you want the house to be 100% move in ready, but on budget you can't do new construction, maybe you're gonna have to settle for some cosmetic changes like paint or carpet or something like that. That said, if you see a house that has more of those nice to haves, that's more of an indicator that it's probably a good fit for you. Most importantly, in low inventory conditions, I tell people to know your deal breakers. These are the things that you're absolutely unwilling to compromise on and that way, when you know them and have them written out, you can take decisive action when you know a house is the right one or is not the right one. So, in these low inventory conditions, make sure that you are fully approved for your mortgage so you know exactly how much you can afford and balance those wants and needs, the must-haves, nice-to-haves, and always remember the 80-10-10 principle. I use that all the time with my buyers and I've even had it hold true when people custom build new homes for themselves. If you need to reach out to break down the wants and needs and craft that dream home list, always feel free to reach out to me. I'm always available as a resource. Thanks so much for watching my video, Brad Cohen, Harmon Realty, and we will see you next video.